Imagine walking through a garden filled with blooming roses, or maybe you're in a forest surrounded by pine trees and the earthy smell of moss. Now what if I told you that every whiff of these scents has a fascinating process behind it, one that dates back thousands of years? Today, we're diving into the aromatic world of perfumes. How exactly are they made? And what secrets lie in those tiny bottles? Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Perfume making is an art that balances creativity, chemistry, and history. People have been capturing scents from the world around them for millennia, and this ancient practice has transformed into the sophisticated industry we know today. But let's rewind for a moment. How did perfumes even start? The history of perfume goes way back, almost as far as civilization itself. Ancient Egyptians were pioneers in fragrance, crafting perfumes from essential oils and plant resins. They used them in religious ceremonies, embalming practices, and even personal hygiene. Scents like myrrh, frankincense, and lotus were especially revered and symbolized spiritual and social status. As Egypt's influence spread, so did their scent-making techniques, reaching Greece and Rome, where perfumes became a luxurious staple. In medieval Europe, perfumes were used to mask unpleasant smells due to a lack of sanitation. Over time, the art of perfumery flourished in France, where perfumers began experimenting with flowers, herbs, and spices to create new and exciting fragrances. By the 17th century, French royalty had fallen in love with perfumes, and it became a symbol of high society. Today, France remains one of the world's leaders in perfume production, combining centuries-old traditions with modern innovations. Now, creating a perfume is no simple task. Perfume making combines nature, artistry, and science to produce fragrances that last. Let's break down this process step by step. Perfume making starts with sourcing the right ingredients, which can come from flowers, fruits, woods, and even animal secretions. Yes, you heard that right. Some of the world's most famous fragrances use ingredients like musk, once derived from a small deer, or ambergris, which originates from sperm whales. However, these days, most animal-based scents are recreated synthetically to protect wildlife. Natural ingredients are either grown in specific regions or imported from all over the world. For example, jasmine is primarily sourced from India, while roses are often grown in grass, France, a historic town known as the perfume capital of the world. Citrus fruits, woods, and herbs are gathered to bring in unique notes, giving each perfume its distinctive scent profile. Once the ingredients are sourced, they need to be processed to extract their essential oils, which carry the scent. Different extraction methods are used depending on the type of ingredient. Here are a few common techniques. Steam distillation. This is one of the oldest methods, mainly used for flowers and herbs. It involves heating the plant material with steam, which helps to release the aromatic compounds. The steam is then condensed into a liquid, separating the essential oil from the water. Solvent extraction. For flowers that are too delicate for steam distillation, like jasmine or tuberose, solvent extraction is used. Flowers are placed in a solvent to dissolve their essential oils, then purified to remove any remaining chemicals, leaving behind a waxy substance called an absolute. Cold pressing. Often used for citrus fruits, cold pressing involves mechanically squeezing the peel to release oils. Think of it like zesting a lemon to release the fresh citrus smell. And fleurage. This ancient method, rarely used today, involves layering flowers on a sheet of fat to absorb their fragrance. The fat is later washed with alcohol to extract the scent. With the oils in hand, the perfumer, also known as a nose, begins crafting the fragrance. A perfume consists of three layers called notes, each evaporating at different rates. 
Top notes. These are the first scents you smell, like citrus or lavender, which make a strong initial impression. They evaporate quickly, usually within 15 minutes. Middle notes, also called heart notes. These are the core of the fragrance, creating a more lasting impression. Floral or spicy scents like rose or cinnamon are commonly used. Base notes. These are the foundation, the deep, rich scents like vanilla, musk, or sandalwood. They linger the longest, providing depth and longevity to the perfume. Balancing these notes is a delicate process. Perfume creation is part science, part art, as perfumers carefully combine these ingredients to create harmonious and unique blends. They test, adjust, and test again, sometimes going through hundreds of iterations to achieve the desired scent. Like fine wine, perfumes are often aged after they're blended. This process helps the fragrance mellow and harmonize. Aging can take weeks or even months, allowing the alcohol and oils to interact and develop richer aromas. Once the aging process is complete, the perfume is filtered to remove any impurities, creating a clear, refined liquid. The final step is bottling, which is as much about presentation as preservation. Perfume bottles are designed to be airtight and protect the fragrance from light and heat, which can degrade the scent. Some luxury perfume brands even see bottle design as part of the art form, creating intricate glass or crystal bottles that add a touch of elegance. Perfume today is both a personal and cultural expression. We have fragrances for every mood, season, and occasion, and the options are endless from light floral sprays to bold, musky colognes. It's fascinating to think that what started as burning resins in ancient temples has evolved into a global industry with scents tailored to each individual's personality. Whether it's your signature fragrance or a seasonal favorite, every bottle of perfume is a product of history, creativity, and chemistry. So, the next time you spritz on your favorite scent, remember, it's more than just a fragrance. It's a journey that spans centuries, cultures, and the dedicated work of countless people in the art and science of perfumery. Thanks for joining us on this aromatic journey. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.